Cormedia Studio offers a few workflows for publishing content, and today we're going to look at the scheduled publication workflow. This workflow shares most of the same functionality as the direct publication, with just the added convenience of being able to choose the date and time of the publication. Let's go through an example. Here I have the professionals page from the ChefCorp site, and we're in the live environment. I'd really like to add a teaser to the top placement here. So let's go over to Studio to make that change. I have my professionals page up in addition to a teaser that I've created previously. I'm just going to drag and drop this into the hero placement of my professionals page. And as the preview comes up, we can see that this looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and accept my changes. And now I'm ready to publish. I'm going to open the professionals page in the library. Now from there, I'm going to start the publication workflow from the right click menu. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pick my workflow type. You can see I have a few workflows to choose from. Since I want this published automatically in the future, I'm going to select scheduled publication. Now, as you can see, this looks almost identical to our direct publication workflow. The only difference really is the scheduled date portion here. We also have the content below that. And here we have the dependent content. And this was automatically brought into our workflow because it's not yet published. So let's go ahead and set the date and time for this publication. I'd like this to be published in just a few minutes, so I'm going to choose today's date. Now you'll see that we immediately get an error here below. You have to schedule your publication at least one minute into the future. So as soon as I change my time here, this error should go away. I can choose to scroll down and select a time, but I can also manually enter a time, and I can even use a 24-hour format if I want. As soon as I click off of it, it registers the time correctly. Okay, so now everything looks good, and I think I can click Start on my workflow. So now my publication workflow is pending, and no other user interaction is needed. However, if I want to check up on my workflow or take a look at the details, I can still do that. I'm going to close the library, and I'm going to open the control room. Now here in the control room, we have the publication workflow section. And we can see this little one here implying that I have a pending workflow. There's the workflow that I just started. And if I click on the details, I can now see that I'm the one who started it. I can see when it's scheduled to be published. And I can also see my content. Now, as I mentioned, no other user needs to do anything for this to be published. We just need to wait until it takes place. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that every piece of content contained within this workflow will be locked for editing until it actually is published. And we can see that message here on our professionals page. If for some reason you realize that you made a mistake or you actually need to schedule this for another time, perhaps, you'll need to abort the workflow and start a brand new one. You can abort the workflow from the control room under this menu here in the upper right hand corner. Now in our case, we don't want to abort the workflow. So let's just go ahead and wait a few minutes until this is published. It's a few minutes later and it looks like our workflow has finished. I'm back on the live page and we can see that teaser that I added is now showing at the top just like I wanted. At this point, we're finished with the publication process. But if we want to take a look at some of the publication details maybe later on, there are a couple ways that we can do that. Both of these ways may be familiar to you if you've already been using workflows within Studio. So let's head back to Studio. Back in my control room, I no longer see a pending workflow. However, if I go here below and click on Finished, I can see a list of finished workflows. This first one on the top is the one that we just recently published. I want to take a look at the details, so I can just double click that. And now I can see the type of workflow I can see that it was started by me, when it was published, and the content that was published. Now another way to view publication details is on each individual piece of content. You can go to the System tab, and there you can hover over each published version, and you can see the details. A scheduled publication is not that much different from a direct publication, but the added benefit of being able to schedule for the future can make your publishing process much easier. That's it for this video. For more information, head over to labs.coremedia.com. Thanks for watching.